Thank you, Triple Threat Marching Band. Well, great morning, great morning. I am so pleased to see so many folks that are out this morning on this auspicious morning. I am A. Zachary Fazon Jr. and I have the distinct honor and privilege of serving as the former 30th president of Edward Waters College and now the first president of Edward Waters University. Indeed, we are the state of Florida's first independent institution of higher education and first historically black college or university. And we remain very proud of our most venerable legacy as the higher educational crown jewel of Jacksonville. On behalf of our distinguished chairman, Bishop Frank Reed III in his absence and the collective membership of the Edward Waters University Board of Trustees, the entire university administration, faculty, staff, students, alumni, and friends. I am exceedingly delighted to welcome you to our historic campus for this truly momentous and transformative occasion, marking the much anticipated dedication and ribbon cutting ceremony of the Edward Waters University community field and stadium. Indeed, it was a little over four years ago that Edward Waters and the city of Jacksonville led by my predecessor our visionary mayor and an equally supportive Jacksonville City Council membership collaborated in making a substantial commitment to enhance not only our academic community, but to provide transformative support and uplift to Northwest Jacksonville and the greater Newtown community that Edward Waters so lovingly calls home. Make no mistake, that a thriving Edward Waters University correlates to a thriving Newtown community, city of Jacksonville, and Northeast Florida. We not only bring students from across the great state of Florida, but also from throughout our state, the nation, and indeed the world. Additionally, we employ individuals who move to this community from all over the country and the world be it Ohio, North Carolina, Texas, Georgia, Maryland, Virginia, or any plethora of cities and states nationwide, they now choose, Mayor, to call Jacksonville home. The impact of job creation by our institution to the community it serves, in particular this Kings Road corridor, is instrumental to not only those who live in the local neighborhood, but in the creation of diversity and opportunities through the transplanting of people through campus employment. This diverse body of people, be it social, political, or economic, begins to create a transformative experience for not only the students, but the community by virtue of recognizing difference within a significantly homogeneous population. As a result, the local economy benefits EWU in the generation of $47 million a year in revenue. And that's according to a recent study conducted by UNCF and the University of Georgia Terry College of Business and Selig Center for economic growth. Edward Waters University is a valuable and contributing member of this community and this city, providing, providing direct evidence that a transcendent city government can work cooperatively in support of the private and educational sector to substantially transmogrify and transform an entire community. Therein lies the importance in understanding why such a partnership portends a future of new opportunities for growth change and forward trajectory for our collective community and citizens. The message is both clear and intentional, a message that recognizes the growing edge and emerging imminence of Edward Waters University as the critical point of intersectionality within the Northwest and downtown Jacksonville corridors. Through this collaborative effort, we will again change not only the lives of our students, but create advocacy and agency in our surrounding Newtown community visually, socially, and economically. Again, as president on behalf of the entire Edward Waters University family, we warmly welcome you to today's auspicious and monumental occasion. At this time, I'd like to ask Pastor Claude Cheatham, our Director of Campus Ministry and Church Relations to come forward and bless our new facility and this occasion. Pastor Cheatham. Good morning. Beloved, time is filled with swift transitions. None on earth can move, can stand. Build your hope on things eternal. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Can we give God a rounding applause because we're here today, uh, because we have been holding on 
to God's unchanging hand. Friends, would you bow with me in prayer? God, we thank you uh, for our time shared together. Thank you for the incredible legacy of Edward Waters University. Thank you for all that we've been able to do and thank you for what we will continue to do. Thank you uh, for our president, our cabinet, and all of those that work tirelessly uh, to ensure that Edward Waters University continues. Thank you for the partnership of our government and all of those that uh, work together to ensure that Edward Waters becomes everything that it's supposed to be. Now, God, we ask that you would bless and we dedicate this stadium unto you. God, we ask that as we would uh, uh, use this moment or this time to dedicate this dedicate this uh, this stadium to you, God. We ask that you would be with us. We ask now that you would be with our entire teams as they would play uh, on this stadium on this field. We thank and honor and bless you for the time that we will share and all of the fun and the family moments we will create as an institution. In that name that we pray, we all say together, Amen. Thank you, Pastor Cheatham. A little more than four years ago, the prior administration of Edward Waters University met with the leadership of the city of Jacksonville to facilitate a unique and unprecedented collaborative moment, one that officially cemented the belief in not only the EWU mission, but this wider community. Former President Glover, Mayor Lenny Curry, and the Jacksonville City Council worked with that administration and later this one to make today a reality. It is with sincere gratitude that we, the Edward Waters University family, thank you for your support and for your commitment to the betterment of our beloved institution and local community. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my esteemed pleasure to now invite the Honorable Mayor Lenny Curry to bring greetings and remarks on behalf of the city of Jacksonville. He will be followed by remarks from Dr. Freddie Grooms McClendon, first vice chair of the EW Board of Trustees, and then finally by the 29th president of Edward Waters College, Dr. Nathaniel Glover, Mayor. Good morning. It's always a pleasure to be back here at the home of the Tigers. Uh, Dr. Faison, I'm grateful for you and the faculty for asking me and members of city council to be a part of this today. Thank you. I'm also happy to see my friend, former sheriff and former president of Edward Waters, Dr. Glover. It's good to be with you today. I want to take a moment here at the beginning of my remarks to offer my sincere congratulations to Dr. Faison, your leadership team, the board of directors, faculty, and the entire student body on becoming Edward Waters University. Our city is proud to be home to EWU and its proud legacy as the oldest private institution for higher learning in the state, and we look forward to an even brighter future. Under the leadership of Dr. Faison, building upon the great foundation laid by Dr. Glover and their predecessors, I'm confident this momentum will continue to build. Now back to today's event. It was Dr. Glover that came to me and my team with the idea for this community field and stadium and asked for the city's support back in 2017. I was proud to support this project then, and I'm even prouder to stand here today to help cut the ribbon. This is about more than a football field, about more than a stadium. This is about investing in this prestigious institution, this historic community, and the betterment of our entire community. To put it simply, whenever water succeeds, when the Newtown neighborhood succeeds, Jacksonville succeeds. This stadium and the events that will happen here will bring more visitors, economic opportunities, it will be a vital resource for neighbors in improving their quality of life and it will be an important gathering place we can all come together to enjoy a good game. This ribbon cutting could not have happened at a more opportune time since last month it was announced that the Tigers are joining NCAA Division II and the Southern Intercollegiate Athletic Conference, bringing more high quality college sports to Jacksonville. I can't wait to see you play in this beautiful space. In conclusion, Thank you again, Dr. Faison, the entire EWC team for your leadership. Thank you to my colleagues on the city council for your support of these efforts. And thank you to the students for choosing to get your education and build your future here in Jacksonville.
Good morning, Edward Waters University. On behalf of the Board of Trustees at this illustrious institution, I bring you greetings. President A. Zachary Faison, Jr., President Cabinet, faculty, staff, alumni, friends, and most importantly, students. I join you today in celebration of this historic occasion, the dedication and ribbon cutting of the new Edward Waters University Community Field and Stadium. What an amazing time to be a part of the Edward Waters community, where we are emerging as an eminent powerhouse in the classroom and on the field. To our coaches, student athletes, cheerleaders, and marching band participants, I am honored to join other Tiger fans in watching you perform in a stadium that honors the incredible talent you display every time you suit up to represent Edward Waters University. Please know that we will be here to fill the stands and cheer you on because your hard work deserves nothing less. So thank you for joining us on our continued and collective journey to reimagining Edward Waters University. And on behalf of the Board of Trustees, I assure you that we will continue to support the great work that is being done here so that we can continue to have historic celebrations such as this. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Let me try that again. Good morning. That's better. That's better. Let me just say what an honor for me to stand here. I want to start by saying thank you to this energetic visionary president. <laughs> Certainly, you have left an indelible footprint already. When you look at moving the institution to another level, Edward Waters University, that's a big deal. And I appreciate that. You can't imagine the pleasure I get when I talk about Edward Waters University. And it's obvious that we are all glad and about that, but that is a big deal. I want to thank my family for showing up in number this morning for being here. I got past the first test this morning. And every time I walk out the door, my wife checked me out and said, where are you going with that on? But I want you to know, first try this morning, I got it right. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that. But I want to thank some other people. I want to thank, start with the mayor, the backstory. I did go to the mayor along with George Dandelake. Raise your hand, George. And we had this desire list that we showed the mayor. Mayor, we would like for you to do this, and do this, and laid it out. And, and the center of that, of course, was uh, Tiger Landing and, of course, the stadium. So I thought I was quite persuasive in my presentation. But after I made the presentation, he said in his matter-of-fact way, well, Mr. President, will you tell me, um, out of that, which one would you just like to have most? 
So I said, well, Mr. Mayor, I guess Tiger Landing. You know, I got students over there and that kind of thing. He said, okay, I'll give it some consideration. Saw him again about five days later. He, he said, you're going to like what I came up with. And ladies and gentlemen, he came up with, Mr. President, I'm going to give you Tiger Landing and the stadium. <laughs> now, I thought, oh, my goodness. So, you know, President, I got to get ready because I know we're going to get some questions from the community and we're going to get some questions from City Council, got to go to City Council, $8.4 million. So I went into my speech mode, which means I sometimes get in, in the mirror and practice where I'm going to put the emphasis, practice where I might have to strategically look like I'm about to cry. I practiced and practiced and the process was going through and I kept calling the mayor's office. Where you want me to go? They said, don't move until we call you. Did that for about three, four weeks, maybe a couple of months. Went to city council. Passed. Unanimously. City council members, will you stand up here? Just let us see you. Let's give them a hand. When, the, when it came up, one question came up, and they eventually unanimously voted for it. So that's just an indication to me that we are together here in Jacksonville, Florida, and we have tremendous support from the city. And I appreciate that. And I appreciate my students, my faculty, my supporting cast, because as this president knows, you don't do it alone. All kind of support in this community. Proud of the Alumni Association. So, Mr. President, we are going to continue to be the wind beneath your wings. And yes, 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 let's give that a hand. Because we want you to soar. Because when you soar, what would be in tow? Edward Waters University. So I stand here this morning with honor. And thank you all for this display of support. Tell me, does these students look great? I am so proud of you all as well. Now, I, I know politicians get the mic. You have to ask them to sit down. But again, a new level of athletic sports here in Jacksonville, Florida, on a new football field. We're not talking about no grass field. Did y'all think it was a grass field? <laughs> We're talking artificial turf. Let's give that a hand. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, thank you for the trustees, Mr. President, and everybody who took the time to come this morning for this momentous occasion. Thank you again. Thank you, Dr. Glover. Thank you again to Mayor Curry, and certainly to uh, Madam Vice Chair Grooms McClendon. Your dedication uh, an active support for Edward Waters University and your vision 
uh, for the forward trajectory of our great institution has truly, truly, truly transformed our venerable university. Indeed, this has been a very long time coming. However, today's occasion signifies more than just the erection of a new facility. It is an understanding of the growth and responsibility that we have as an institution to provide a best-in-class experience for our students. We are confronted with the question of what type of growth we should strive for. And what we have determined is that we are a working academy, supported as a strategic partner with our city municipality while contributing to the community we serve. We stand as proud tigers today, shoulder to shoulder with our city government, our Newtown community, and our EWU family to say that we are poised and positioned to affect the change that we want to see. And that change starts today, right here at the precipice of this new addition to our campus and neighborhood community. There are so many people who are instrumental in making today possible, and I too would be remiss if I did not take this opportunity as president to recognize and acknowledge the work of some individuals as well as acknowledge the presence of some other special persons who have joined us today on this very celebratory occasion. If you'd please stand and be recognized uh, upon acknowledgement. First, let me again thank and acknowledge and again coming on the heels of, of what I like to call the icon. Uh, I, I kid with him often about how when we go into different places, it seems like the Red Sea just parts when you're coming in and following Dr. Glover. But certainly uh, in my introduction to this community, uh, I found a true friend anytime there was a need, anytime uh, that there was something that concerned this institution. I want you all to know that the Honorable Lenny Curry has always answered the call. And Mayor, I want you to know how much I truly appreciate your leadership and appreciate you for your support of Edward Waters University. <laughs> Certainly, uh, I couldn't do the work that I do and that my team does without an engaged and very supportive and instrumental board of trustees here at Edward Waters University. Could all the members of the Edward Waters University Board of Trustees please stand and let me recognize you today, all the members of the Edward Waters University Board of Trustees. Thank you. Thank you all so very much for the work that you do. Certainly, the members of the City Council of Jacksonville, would you please stand and let us recognize you. The members of the City Council of Jacksonville that are here today, let us please recognize you. Thank you all so very much for being here. And certainly, I'll take a special point of privilege and acknowledge our own EW alumnus and council president, Sam Newby. Any members of the state delegation of Florida or, or their representatives that may be present, we want to acknowledge you. Thank you. Thank you so very much for being here, Representative Nixon. I'd also like uh, to take an opportunity to, to uh, introduce or at least to acknowledge, I think, is Mike Freed here today? Is Mike Freed here? I wanted to acknowledge his presence if he was here today. Certainly the First Lady of Edward Waters University, uh, the wind beneath my wings, truly, <laughs> Mrs. Ticey Lorraine Faison, thank you for being here. Dr. Glover said something earlier and it resonates even the more today, and that is that no leader is worth anything without a strong, supportive cast of characters that serve as his or her team. And so at this point, I'd also like to acknowledge all the members of my executive cabinet. Would you please stand and let me recognize you today, all the members of my executive cabinet. And I want to take a special point of privilege. I uh, pick on, on this gentleman. He's, he's been at Edward Waters since 2004, I believe. So he's been serving this institution almost two decades. And I pick on him all the time. The cabinet knows. But I will tell you, he's probably the hardest working person that I have ever seen or known, and that's Mr. Randolph Mitchell. Mr. Mitchell, would you please stand and let us recognize you. He was here at 10 o'clock last night, Mr. President, out on the field getting things together, so I want to certainly recognize you, Mr. Mitchell. And then also, I also want to kind of especially recognize someone that has really transformed our athletic endeavors here at Edward Waters University, Dr. Paul Bryant, our Director of Intercollegiate Athletics recognize him 
as well this morning, just transformative leadership. The Edward Waters University coaching staff, I think you all are all here. Would you wave at us? Edward Waters University coaches, head coaches, assistant coaches. Good to see all of you all this morning. I certainly would be remiss if I did not acknowledge the presence of our president of our National Alumni Association, Ms. Lily Vereen. Would you please stand? And all the alumni of Edward Waters University, would you please stand? If you're an alumna or an alumnus of Edward Waters University, would you please stand and let us recognize you this morning. Thank you all for all that you do for Edward Waters University. I think we have a representative from STG Contracting Group, our contractors, are they here? I see them way, way in the back, wave at them. They're responsible for having built this illustrious facility. We thank you, STG Contracting, for being here with us today. In their absence, I certainly want to recognize two individuals, Mr. John Baker, who's the former uh, second vice chair of our board, who was very instrumental in providing support for this project, John Baker, as well as Ted Baker, as well as Mr. Michael Ward. All of them were financial contributors to this, and without their support, this project would not have been completed. Certainly, I see them here today, and I'm always pleased to recognize our student leaders. I see Miss Edward Waters University and Mr. Edward Waters University. Would you please stand and let us recognize you. Also, my Student Government Association president, Ms. Nalia Baptiste, would you please stand and let us recognize you? The Student Athletic Advisory Council, would you wave at us? And I know Molly Ray, one of my basketball players, is there. There's Molly. I see you. Good to see you. And last, but certainly not least, the most important acknowledgement of all, I'd like to recognize the world's best student body in the galaxy, Edward Waters University students. Let's recognize you today, and especially our phenomenal student athletes, our student athletes. So good to see you all out in number today. So now, without further ado, I'd like to ask Mayor Curry, Trustee Grooms McClendon, and President Newby, and Dr. Glover to join me now for the unveiling and ceremonial ribbon cutting. So if you'll turn your attention here, if you all want to, somebody's going to have to direct me now. Are we going to turn right around? Okay. 